Her body's gold like September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now What's up guys and welcome to day one of the cruise Our first full day, where are we Chelsea? We are in St. Martin. St. Martin. So uh, we love this stop. We've been here a couple times before. One of the most popular things people do here is go to Maho Beach, the one with the airplanes. We've done that before though. So we're doing something a little bit different today. We are going to be going on an amazing race style challenge. So it's four excited. hours long through the city, through the beaches. It's a bunch of different challenges, physical and mental. It's going to be really, really interesting. And uh, we'll see if we can get this win. We already have an enemy. We do? We do. Who? So our partners were signing up and two people scooped two spots from underneath them and they almost didn't get to come. And so oh. they're our enemies. All right. <laughs> so we met a super nice family from Tennessee. You have to do groups of six or more for teams. So it's us two plus the four of them. That's going to be our team of six. And these are all the other people that are doing this race. So we're going to be going to the water taxi right now. And it's going to take us somewhere on the island. I have no clue where. And we're going to start this thing. And like I said, it's about four hours long. There's all kinds of mental challenges, physical challenges, following clues and stuff like that. So what do you think, girl? We got it? I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Woo! You ready to ride the Black Mamba? Oh, God. The meeting spot. I think. And there's rice and beans. I'm just staked out right here. She said it was for the food challenge, and they weren't going to tell us anything else. <laughs> it's not cooked. Taking the navigators around to give them maps and show them kind of the area we're working with here. In the Caribbean, we eat lots of rice and beans. That's always a side when you have a dish. So what you're gonna have to do? Take out out of the pot, turkey beans. All right. Once you have beans inside of your spoon, you have to remain grounded. You can't move. You can do this, you know, you can rotate, but you can't move. We need to take the beans, no rice, just beans, from there all the way to our lid. But you can't walk, but you you can't walk when you have beans. So it's kind of like a, a pass it process. What happens if you drop the bean? Can you pick it up? If you drop the bean, I think that bean is dead. Oh, man. First clue. Follow the boardwalk until you find your next challenge on the ocean side. Your mission is to fill up a plastic cup placed on a team member's head. Oh wow. The catch, you must do so using only ocean water and with only the materials provided at the location. Come on girl, let's go. Let's go. Oh no. Okay, so we made it to the second location. Looks like we're the third team here. Oh my gosh. You got this girl. Don't drop it. Good work. Go, go, go. go buddy. All right. The next clue. Look at the weather, girl. Fine by me. All right. So we're still in a solid like second or third place. We got to work on getting that better though. Does it just coincide with the number it is in the alphabet? Yes, it does. One, uh, two, three is A, B, C. We solved the third clue here. You had to use letters as numbers, and uh, everybody has to sign the guest book at the museum. Here we go. So we're heading to the museum now. Okay, we got our next clue. A popular local brand of flavored rum has a picture of an old man on the label. Discover the distance to some cities around the world, then keep going to your next clue. Distance to Cancun, Mexico, Halifax, Canada, Charleston, South Carolina, Bombay, India. Come on, girl. We're coming. We got the distances. And now we've got to go to Old Street, find a yellow car, and scream, I love St. Martin. Old Street, we found it. We love St. Martin! You are now ready for your next challenge. It's time to find the Peace Monument, which is located close to the library. It is not a monument on your map. 
Right now you're on Old Street headed to the library. Once you've checked out the Peace Monument, look around for your guide. They have a brains game waiting for you. We're still in third place. Holding, really? holding steady. We'd like to try to, to boost that up a little bit, but we're gonna have to pick up the pace. So we were supposed to find this Peace Monument. And then it says you're supposed to look around for your guide. But I don't know where they are. The first lady that set us up said don't look for her when we get to town because she becomes a local. So I'm wondering if she's at like a local hangout spot or something. If you were a local, where would you go? We need to find like a bar with some beer. Like in here or something. Do you think that was a clue? Maybe we have to go to the library. This is, this is our chance to kind of distance ourselves from the competition. Listen up, what you're gonna do on your paper, all right, you're gonna have write 30 islands of the Caribbean. Two. We're at 19, we've exhausted all of our options. We're not allowed to look at Google Maps or anything, so we're gonna try to keep it, keep it legit. So we're gonna go ask some locals and hopefully they'll help us out. All right, you're good, good. A Christian church, one of the two, I think, on the island. Yeah, there's it's two. For, it's something about Martin Day Tours. St. Martin Day Tours statue at his church. That's all we have to St. Martin Day Tours. Looks like we found it here. Not a bad view for a church, huh? Holy cow. This is cool. Since we were one of the first teams to check in, this is kind of like, I think, the halfway point. Yeah. We've got uh, got a little, little time off. We've got like 20 minutes. I think we're going to go swim in a little bit. This place is so beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ooh, it's like a liquor she. Ooh. It says avoid the pits and avoid the strings. I've smelled this before though. Double. The rewards of hard work. Cheers to being second to last. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Down the hatch, girl. How is it? It's ginger something? Rum? Oh, I really like it. <sighs> it's not bad. It's a very unique flavor with the ginger. Whew. So it's uh, almost one o'clock right now. We started at 9.30. Yeah. Yes. That was that was a long time. It was fun though. I really enjoyed it. You basically get to see all of this part of the island. Like you run up and down the streets. There's three main streets, a bunch of little side streets. You have all kinds of little clues. I think they do they change it up like every six months I think or so. It's been six months, yeah. So you can't really. Yeah, so like you can come up. here once, and then when you come here again, it's going to be different. So it was pretty cool. We enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna go back to the ship. We're gonna get flip-flops on because we had like running shoes and stuff on and <laughs> We uh, literally have running shoes on guys. We, we were in second place all the way up to the halfway point and then honestly We spent a little bit too much time in the water and we came back late and we got a late start well, and like are you upset about it? No, I, I think in the no. end we kind of won. Yeah. Nobody else is swimming So <laughs> we're gonna go back switch out shoes grab some extra camera stuff and enjoy the rest of the island. We still have like four hours left. We heard from a guy from New York who's also on the cruise. He said that there are little carts along this way that have just like coconuts, just natural coconuts that they just pour rum into. So we said that sounded like our, our type of deal. The next stop. So we're, we're looking for that right now. So this is an interesting addition to the beach. Not <laughs> exactly what I was expecting when I was coming around the corner. They've got a golden cow. Do you want to give it a pat? It looks like a happy cow. Nice. It's cute. Huh. I have no clue what that represents, but that's pretty cool. We're in Phillipsburg, and this place is kind of just a long boardwalk. Yeah, I mean, there's three basically. streets we were on during the race, but we started down on that end, and we're now walking to this end in search of this coconut. I don't know, somebody's having a bad day. But um, we haven't found it. I think the coconuts might be gone, but it's still pretty cool. There's like beach bars and stuff all the way through so i think we're gonna grab some lunch soon yes and go swimming yeah what do we have left like 20 minutes well we have like an hour but probably 20 minutes to like it's the safe time yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
the, sh the ship has a, a final call at 4.30, so it's like almost four at this point. So we, we have a little bit of time, but we're gonna make sure we enjoy it. Everybody that's else is pretty much slowly. left. Isn't that what Jamaica taught us? Right, rush, rush slowly, slowly, always. No, that's St. Kitts. Reggae oh, Beach. Really? Yeah. So we're just kind of hanging out. We have an entire Caribbean beach to ourselves pretty much. And we're just gonna enjoy it. Well, my friends, I think that's an end to St. Martin. It was really nice here. We enjoyed it. Beautiful. The I wish we had incredible. more time. Really, we treat cruises as a way to visit different islands and decide which ones we really want to come back to. So yeah. I would say this is probably one of them. I think it is still yeah. kind of recovering from the hurricane a little bit, to be honest. So eventually we'll make it back for sure. Yeah, we have Without to. a doubt. But we're heading back to the ship now. We've got a little water taxi right here. And the night is young. We've got a lot more to do. So let's and back. formal night, Trevor's favorite. Oh. I can't wait to get in a suit. I'm sure you guys know how thrilled I am. Oh, girl over here. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. I don't know, like people. About me. No, I'm talking about the ship. It's weird because they have newer, bigger, more exciting ships with more stuff to do. But for some reason, freedom is this just is like that's that's our baby. That's our baby right there. I don't like this. <laughs> you never I really did. don't like this. All right. So where we last left off, we were heading back to the ship. Took a little nap, hung out for a little bit, that sort of thing. Tonight is one of the two formal nights, formal nights of the cruise. So <laughs> I would say probably every seven days you have two formal nights. So every like three to four days you have a formal night on a cruise, yeah. which means you dress up, the captain of the ship comes down and eats with you. And it's like this big formal event where everybody else is dressed up. Like you literally can't get in the dining rooms unless you're in like a, at least like, I would say personally for me right now, no tie, no belt. This is probably like the, the least formal you can get. Cause right. I don't really like getting formal personally. I know. It's really hot. I, I'm like sunburnt from earlier today. I'm hot, I'm sweaty. I don't want to be in this, but it's, what the girls the, are lucky because all of our clothes are very like the girls like it. yeah look at this she's in like a, a nice comfy flowy like almost like pajamas and i'm out here like <sighs> so we're going to formal night it's gonna be okay we'll hang out we'll have some good food and then probably like the casino or something afterwards i don't know we'll see what happens but uh yeah it's been pretty chill all day just woke up from a nap. I don't know if you guys can tell. Needed. I'm literally like, she woke me up five minutes before this. No, that's so, not true. I was trying to wake him up every five minutes for the last half an hour. I was really sweet. I was really mean. I was like, it's time. It, okay. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to dinner. I just woke up. This should be fun. Oh, oh my goodness. So we didn't record much of dinner because we've honestly never done this before. So you guys are experiencing this for the first time with us. We actually sat with other people at our table, which but is we weird. Didn't know. I think you can, if you want to, you can request that you don't do that, and that's fine. We've always had like a personal table, just us two. But this was a group of six people, so it was us and then two other families. Yeah. And honestly, it was kind of fun. Like you got to super nice. You got to meet somebody new. It wasn't like as romantic as it usually is, but we had a good time. So that's you why know, we didn't record very much. You know what I think is the best part of it? What? I love that I get to hear about excursions that other people did to find out if it might be something I want to do next time. That's that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> but yeah, so we talked to them, we hung out for a little bit. Obviously, I didn't want to be weird and like bring a camera out and stuff like that. So yeah, good dinner. Very, very good. I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Everything was good. Um, for the rest of the night, honestly, there's a comedy show we might go to tonight. Obviously, that doesn't really translate well on camera. Probably go to the casino a little bit. So wish us luck. But apart from that, I would say that's probably that's probably a wrap on today. I think that's yeah. about all we've got for today. Honestly, guys, you spend 12 hours in the sun and let me know if you want to do anything else. <laughs> we, we, we did. We took a little nap. But, I mean, that's honestly a cruise is literally it's all about eating, drinking, exploring, and then napping. Like, those are the four things that you do. And I think we conquered all four Those today. are some of the best naps i've ever had are on cruise ships oh for sure it's like you come in you're like salty and sandy you take like a quick shower and then you just lay down and you you pass out and that's exactly what we did today so thank you guys for tuning into the vlog so far and uh we'll see what happens also i don't know if you guys can see but i had a seafood linguine and i kind of got it on my shirt i'm not gonna lie there's like some of my chest there's some of my arm 
it's just kind of like a regular thing. I will say that my table mat was clean. My like spot on the table. I was very impressed with that, I want to tell you. I didn't want to embarrass you in front of other people, but bravo. <laughs>